This is, without a doubt, the coolest computer video I'll have ever made, and it begins with a story. Four days ago, on January 26th of 2012, I had my tech exam. Me and two friends of mine, we took Cisco's CCNA Discovery uh, course, which trains you to become a Cisco Certified Network Associate, and we had our exam uh, that day we all made a hundred percent and I finished the class with a ninety five percent so I've now had the training to become a Cisco certified networking associate so that's pretty cool but uh, uh, when we were all done that exam computer teacher called me up to his desk and he says Trent there's this teacher he named the teacher but I won't he said this teacher has a Mac mini that he doesn't want anymore and I have no clue if, if, if it's any good or anything and he came to me and asked me if I had anyone that would take junk. <laughs> and I said, as a matter of fact, I do. This is what my computer teacher said. So uh, he asked me if I wanted this, uh, this Mac Mini. And I said, oh, sure, why not? So I, I expected to uh, later go to find this, you know, derelict Mac Mini that was probably beaten up or had problems or something like that. So... Uh, a while later, because uh, we, we had to set up the computer lab for the new tech support class next semester, which starts in a couple of days, after we were done that, I went to my teacher and said, okay, uh, where can I pick up this Mac Mini? So the computer teacher uh, leads me to uh, a, a, a different teacher than the one he named. He named the wrong teacher. And... Uh, who was this teacher, you may ask? Well, you've heard me say many times in many of my videos, it was none other than my former math teacher, who gave me the Acer Extensive 5 1DX, who gave me the Epson Apex Plus. He had this Mac Mini. So he led me to my former math teacher's room, my computer teacher did, and he said, there it is. And boy, was I surprised. I found not a Mac Mini, but this. This is the box to an iMac G3 and I was very stunned because not only was it the wrong teacher uh, and I was surprised it would to be my former math teacher but it was a totally different uh, thing than what I described and I said holy crap I said oh I, I don't know how I'm gonna get this home and and uh, I, I said that's that's not what you say it was and he said that's a Mac Mini isn't it and I said no it's an iMac and he goes oh oh well so, uh, some uh, emailing and phone calling to mom later that day, I did get this thing home. But this is a perfect mint in box with everything it came with new. iMac G3 Graphite. This is without a doubt the most unique, most beautiful, most coolest computer I've ever obtained. And for the pleasure of you guys, I've boxed everything back up. Of course, I've had it out and played with it since I brought it home four days ago, but I've boxed it all back up, and you guys are going to have the pleasure of seeing me unbox it again, and start it up, and we're going to do a full overview and demonstration of this thing. So I'm going to set this camera on the tripod, set up my Olympus uh, Studio Quality Digital Sound Recorder that I got for Christmas on another tripod, probably over there, so you can hear me better. And we are going to have a look at this thing. Alright, we got everything set up. My Olympus is over here on the dresser, running. And if the sound is anything superior in loudness and or quality to the camcorder, I'll use that in the video instead of the camcorder sound. So, we'll see how that turns out. So I'm going to come around the other side here. Try not to step on the million things beside my bed on the floor here. Open the box up. So the first thing we have is this uh, photographic insert that has the Apple Pro mouse and the Apple Pro keyboard on it. Nothing on the other side. This says copyright 2000 Apple Computer Incorporated. So we'll just put that right over here. Alrighty. We have a CD wallet with the Graphite Apple logo on it. 
with all the CDs that came with this thing, plus more. We'll get into this thing later. Put that right over here. The original Apple mouse pad. Right over here. The original iMac power cord, which is just a standard PC power cord, but as you can see, the cord is gray and it has translucent uh, uh, plugs on it, which is pretty cool. Put that right here. Firewire cable, never been used, still has the twist ties and the plastic protective coverings on it. Telephone cable for the 56K modem, again, never been used, still has the twist tie on it. Replacement back cover, so the you can have access to the VGA port, again, never been opened. Apple Pro mouse. Apple Pro keyboard, both are USB of course. And this styrofoam insert comes out. See that, that's what it is. Now, I'm gonna change the uh, camera angle before I take the computer out. Hopefully you saw everything there. I can't see what the camera's showing, but hopefully you could see everything. There we go. Maybe go down just like that. And here comes the iMac itself. There it is, in all its glory. And then at the end of the box, we have another styrofoam insert. So, let me do some uh, house cleaning here and then we'll check this thing out. Alright, so we'll go over the box in detail first. On one side of the box you have a photograph of the unit on a wooden table. iMac on there. Turn the box around. You have a bunch of uh, safety logos and whatnot. Fragile keep it from water, yada yada, the graphite Apple logo, and covering some uh, personal stuff with a floppy disk here, but this thing was shipped straight from Apple Computer Incorporated, Elk Grove, California. I, I don't know if uh, that's a different place in their headquarters, or if uh, they were somewhere before they were in Cupertino, I don't know what, but you have this information here. You have the product number, that's the model number, indicating that this is a summer 2001 model iMac, the last iMac G3. Yada yada yada. Bunch of crap. And then on the other side of the graphite apple, you have this stuff. 600 megahertz, graphite, 256 megs of RAM, 40 gig hard drive, CDRW drive. Not sure what Ultra, oh that means ATI Rage 128 Ultra video card. I'm going to give the official spec sheet after this anyway. 56K modem, Firewire, VGA. And once again the uh, the official model number. There's, there's two model numbers here. One means series and one means the individual model. I don't know which is which but there's both of them. Computer made in the USA. That kind of uh, uh, surprised me there. So, but I, I, if it was actually even assembled in the USA, that's, that's pretty cool, I guess. Other foreign items as marked thereon. All the parts were probably made in uh, China or somewhere. And then you have the Ethernet MAC address. And there's that side of the box. Turn it around again. Ugh. Huge box. You have the rear end of the unit with iMac again. And then on this side you have another graphite Apple logo. So on the top here you have Apple's website, another picture of the unit side on, and we have iMac. Now I'm going to grab this very cool 
fluorescent light with a pole string that I bought today for six dollars. General Electric. And this is gonna aid us in reading the box. So it says 500 megahertz power PC G3 processor. These are specs for the base model. 256 kilobyte on chip level 2 cache running at 500 megahertz. 128 megabytes of PC100 RAM, SD RAM, supports up to 1 gigabyte. 20 gigabyte Ultra ATA hard disk drive, I believe it's a IDE ATA100, and there's a little asterisk there, what's that mean? 1 gigabyte equals 1 billion bytes, actual formatted, yada 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 yada. Slot loading, 24x speed, maximum CD-ROM drive. Built-in 15 inch display. Uh, set the light down here. 13.8 inch diagonal viewable, 0.28 millimeter dot pitch, ATI RAGE 128 Ultra 2D 3D AGP graphics processor with 16 megabytes of SD RAM video memory, built in 56K V90 modem and telephone cable, two asterisks. Uh, actual modem speeds lower. <laughs> okay. Built in 10 100 base T Ethernet. I wonder if that's actually base TX. Just based on my knowledge, I, no, I've never heard of 10 100. I, I've heard of 10 base T, but not 100 base T. I've heard of 100 base TX, but I don't know. External DSL and cable modem ready. Ready for airport wireless networking. Now, I thought this meant that it had airport built in, but it doesn't. It simply has provisioned that an airport card. Two 400 megabit per second firewire ports, four to six pin firewire camcorder cable, two USB ports, 12 megabits per second each, that's USB 1.1, access door for easy SD RAM and airport installation, integrated Harman Kardon Odyssey audio system, integrated high performance microphone, two mini headphone jacks, analog video, analog audio input and output mini jacks, VGA port for video mirroring, Apple Pro Keyboard and Apple Pro Mouse, easy internet access, three, 33, 30 days of free internet service with, e, with Earthlink, Microsoft Internet Explorer. Included software, Mac OS, QuickTime, iMovie, iTunes, Apple Works, Quicken 2002 Deluxe, WorldBook, Mac OS 10 Edition, Automatic, which is a game, Mac OS 10 Chess, PCalc, which is, I believe, a graphing calculator. Oh, no, it's just a scientific calculator. Acrobat Reader from Adobe, and Fax STF, I assume a program for faxing over a modem, meets Energy Star requirements. Important use of this project is such a FCC, FCC, FCC crap. Oh no, it's not FCC, it's for, uh, for your uh, software license, yada yada. Copyright 2002, Apple Computer Incorporated, all rights reserved, airport, yada 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 yada, energy star, yada yada, bull crap. Then we have the Mac logo, and a barcode, get out your Blackberries. So, uh, thank you Mr. Fluorescent Light, good spend of six dollars. So, around the other side here, now I gotta set my, my camera settings right again, there we go. Automatic white balance really doesn't work well on this camcorder. That's why I'm always changing it manually. On this side we have iMovie, iTunes, iTools, Airport. That is, you can add Airport. And that's it for the box. So now we will take a look at the computer itself.